like in list we can store similar type of information together so before understanding how it works we need to uh, like be clear about the major two properties of list as a collection the number one is in list the elements or the values or the information that we are storing inside it is stored in an order that simply means that the first element that you have stored is onto the first position the second is onto the second position and the third is onto the third position and so on and whenever like even if you want to access uh, the first element you want to store you'll just pass on the index of the first position and you'll get uh, that element which you stored first into that particular list so number one property is this like the information that we are storing in list is in an ordered format number two property and that's also very important the elements or the values that we store inside a list is non-unique that simply means that list can have duplicate values as well now let me write like create a diagram which will help you understand list uh, even better so like in list what happens is we store the information in an ordered format and uh, yeah so uh, like uh, imagine i've created this list and i this list stores integers so in collections we store same type of information and uh, in like and when it comes to list uh, we store same type of information and that too in an ordered format so over here we are storing integers together i want to store multiple integers together so i've created a list and uh, i'm referring this list with uh, like let's say i list or i i is a variable which refers to this particular list and i is basically a reference variable nothing else so now if i want to store uh, a value inside this particular list how i'm going to do that is like i want to store 2 so this is how 2 will get stored i want to store 10 so this is how 10 will get stored then i want to store uh, 6 then 6 will get stored then i want to store again 2 then 2 will get stored then i want to store 3 then 3 will get stored and uh, after that if you want to store uh, 5 then this is how i can store 5 into it so we can add as many elements or as many values as we want in a list because lists in apex are dynamic that means the size uh, of the elements or the uh, number of elements that it can hold uh, can be changed at runtime so yeah uh, we can store as many elements as we want and the most important thing is the lists are similar to arrays in different different programming languages as we can use it with the index as well so the first value that you store in a list is on to the index 0 the next is on to the index 1 and next is on to the index 3 uh, 2 next four, uh, 3 and then 4 yeah, next is uh, 4 and then next is 5 so if we want to access the first element that we stored into this particular list we are gonna uh, like pass the index 0 and we'll get 2 as an output over there so this is how we store similar type of information together with the help of list which is basically a collection now you got the idea that how the information gets stored inside a list let let's create a list in our apex program and understand how it basically works and understand different different methods or different, different notations uh, with the help of which we can create it uh, we can store information into it and we can basically use it so here is the like here yeah here is a simple uh, syntax of uh, like with the help of which we uh, which defines how we need to define a list so in order to define a list what we need to do is we first need to write down list which is obviously the class with yeah list collection and then inside these angular brackets we need to specify the data type let me tell you what these angular brackets are so uh, these like this is a generic class lists can be of any data type lists can be of integers lists can be of strings lists can be of date anything so while defining the list we need to specify that which type of information this list is gonna store and that type is basically the data type that you have to write down inside these angular brackets so if you want to create a list of integers you need to write down list and then angular brackets and inside angular brackets you need to write down integer that's it then the reference variable with the help of which you're going to refer to this particular list so uh, remember like we're going to take uh, this example again so this is uh, the reference variable which we can use right so like uh, okay let me erase this first and uh, let me create yeah this is the reference variable which is referring to this particular list 
so we need to like give it a particular name so if we'll give it uh, the name i2 i1 i5 whatever we want to give we can give it like that and uh, the same rule applies over here uh, the same rules which are applied to the variable names applies over here it's nothing but a variable name then equals to then we have to write down equals to and after that we have to initialize or basically create a list and let me tell you how to create a list with, uh, in order to create a list what we need to do is we first need to write down new new as a keyword and let me tell you why new because new is used to create a new list or uh, like yeah a new list so first we need to write down the new keyword and then we have to write down list then inside the list again the angular brackets and the data type that we have to write down over here needs to be similar with the data type that we have written down over here so if on the left hand side the data type is integer right hand side it, sh it should be integer so if uh, yeah and if left hand side it's string right hand side also it should be string and it's nothing but uh, defining which type of information we are going to store in this particular list and after writing this list angular brackets and then data type we need to like open the parenthesis and then close the parenthesis and then write the semicolon and this complete statement creates a list so what happens is this uh, new list data type parenthesis open parenthesis close creates a list and this list gets assigned to this variable which is a list over here as you can see and this is the basic syntax of creating a list no matter which type of list you are creating but in apex in order to create a list uh, you have to write down a statement similar to this. Now let's see that how we can create a list in an Apex program. We have understood the syntax, but uh, we still need to create a list, right? So first what we'll do is we'll create a list in this Apex program and we'll add some values into it. So here is a simple program. Here is a simple program uh, which like in which we are going to create a list and we're going to add some values inside it. So the first uh, statement that we need to write down to create and initialize a list is again that same thing list and then inside angular brackets i need to write down integer uh, because we want integer integers to be stored into this particular list so and then l1 so this is the reference variable so let me uh, like make use of the diagram so what what is happening is uh, like after this statement list integer l1 uh, a new reference variable will be created which will access with the name l1 and after uh, like equals to uh, we have written down new list integer and then parenthesis open and parenthesis close so this is going to create a new list of integer so this is a new list of integer that's going to create it uh, with the help of new list integer statement and with, with the help of equals to operator will assign this list of integer to this l1 reference variable now to add values inside this particular list we'll use uh, a simple method which is add to add the values into this particular list so l1 dot add to what this uh, statement is going to do this will add uh, two inside this particular list just like this and then the next statement is l1 dot add four so it's going to add four over here then l1 dot add six so it's going to add six over here just like that and if even if i write down uh, l1 dot add four over here once again it'll definitely it'll get stored there's, there's no problem with that because list can have duplicate values as we have already discussed in the properties of list major two properties remember which one number one ordered the elements are stored or the values inside a list are stored in an ordered format or in an order the second the values of the elements are non-unique congratulations you have understood you have successfully understood how to create a list and how to add values inside it what else do you need let me tell you what else do you need so this is not the only way uh, with which we can create a list and add values into it there are multiple other ways as well uh, or multiple other notations or statements or uh, yeah, syntax as well uh, which you can use to create a list right so uh, let me show you the another one so like in this statement what i'm doing is list integer l2 so the left hand side is exactly similar to the above one but there is a change onto the right hand side and let's discuss the change what is the change let's have a look at the change so new list integer it's exactly same but instead of the parenthesis open and parenthesis close now we have curly brackets right so we have got curly brackets curly bracket in the left on the left hand side and curly bracket on the right hand side and inside those curly brackets 
we have the values or the yeah the integers that we want to store into this particular list so this complete statement is similar to the above statements so like over here we, what we are, do, we are what we were doing is we were creating a list and then we were adding the values inside it right uh, we were adding two then we are adding four then we were adding six so in this statement let me tell you what is exactly happening instead of creating the list and then adding the values uh, what uh, we are creating the list while adding the values and then we are assigning it to the reference variable let me explain you how it basically works so uh, uh, what, what is happening it, a reference variable is getting created uh, on the name l2 and then a list gets created where we first store the values the two four six uh, are getting first stored into this particular list because uh, like we have passed these values while we are creating this particular list getting it so we are like we are storing all of these values first and then we are assigning this uh, list to this reference variable and where in the above situation we created the list first then assigned it to the variable and with the help of that variable uh, we used add method in order to add elements into this particular list but that doesn't mean that we cannot uh, use add method with l2 right we can use l2 dot add 5 there's no problem with it you can do that it is just if you uh, want to do it in a single line and if, if you already know what all elements are going to be there into this particular list uh, use this notation this curly uh, brackets notation or if you think the uh, elements that you're going to add uh, you're going to decide them later on or you're going to get those elements later on in the program then in that case use the add method it's totally up to you and you can do both as well there's no problem so we have created a list of integer type what if we want to create a list of some other data type so here's a simple statement that's yeah that's relatable to you so instead of integer uh, inside the angular brackets we have to write down string because we want string to be stored into this particular list right so uh, we'll write down list string l3 and then new list then again string and then curly braces i comma am comma feeling comma good so there are four strings that I'm stored uh, like that I'm storing into this particular list which is referenced with the reference variable l3 so let me tell you how it's uh, working we are creating l3 a reference variable which is going to store the reference of a list which is going to store in uh, like string inside it so yeah there's a list that is getting created the first value is i then the second value is am and the third value is feeling whatever it is yeah and the fourth value is good so there are four strings that are stored together in this particular list and this list is then assigned yeah it's not uh, it was not assigned earlier but after storing all of these elements inside it we assigned this list to l3 reference variable similarly we can store different different types of uh, information together in a list all what we need to do is we just need to uh, write down the data type of the information that we have to store into this list in